The greatest Call of Duty game ever is upon us, guys. We're getting so close, and I'm not talking about Modern Warfare 2, although I am very excited for the trailer. I'm definitely gonna be reacting to it and stuff. I might actually have something even better for you guys. SM2 actually posted a brand new video. They've got some gun game gameplay, and you guys know how much I love gun game and going for reactions. Dude, Steve. They're waiting an eternity for Vanguard to actually get it, which I don't even think it's going to at this point. But hey, SM2 actually has some gun game gameplay that they're sharing with us. In the description, it says that there's going to be 25 random weapons with random attachments every single game. Kind of similar to Call of Duty Ghost, which Ghost gun game was actually pretty amazing. So I like this already. It says available in wager matches, custom games, and the server browser. These guys are bringing back wager matches from Black Ops 1. I mean, that's already huge, but you'll also be able to just play gun game casually if you want to as well, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. I can't wait to see it. Everything gameplay wise that they've shown off for SM2 has been amazing and at this point everyone is just like dying to play this game especially because Call of Duty is kind of in like a weird funk right now okay so they had the whole disclaimer it's not a final version of the game things could change oh look at them even the menus looks like look how many freaking credits this guy has is that COD points I don't even know it's already looking really good oh we have terminal gun game okay oh this already looks so good we got attack knife to start oh thank you now granted this is randomized attachment so maybe you'll start off and you won't have attack knife but having the attack knife is amazing for getting reactions also was that the RW1 from Advanced Warfare? We got a Scorpion ACOG, dude. Smash 12? Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's a little, a little glitchy. I can see why we might not have our hands on it quite yet. Also, I like the little uniforms they all have. They're all in suits. But no, this actually looks really good so far. Oh, I got the Bulldog. Spamming it. <laughs> ASM1. ASM1. Oh, that was easy. Go figure. BMP. I like the rotation so far. Now, I don't know if the guns are going to be different every single time or if it's just the weapon attachments being randomized, but... This is looking really good so far. I don't know how many people are in this gun game server. It looks pretty lit though, like there's a lot of people. Oh, we got the bow too. Man, they really have everything in here. M16, M8A1 from Black Ops 2, yo. Oh my. Is this from COD World War II? It is, the M1919. Whoever this is, they're killing it too. Are they in first place? Oh yeah, they are, okay, they're up five guns, not bad. Now, see, I, I'm kind of hoping this is the case. I really haven't seen this at all, so this is my first time reacting to it. But it would be really funny if they actually had some gun game reactions in here. I mean, I doubt it. They're just trying to show off the actual gameplay. But if there's voice chat in here and you can go for reactions, that would be amazing. Dragon off ACOG. Hi, how are you? Oh. Yep, those are your gun game spawns for you. Ooh, nasty. Oh, the PSG. Everything looks amazing, by the way, like the guns. The UI looks super clean. I'm digging the kill feed so far, too. Ooh. RPG. Final weapon. Oh, this is the final weapon, the crossbow? Oh my, yo, they killed it. Oh, it's a wager match too. Oh my God, in the money, ah. I miss this so much about Black Ops 1. Like every time I go back onto Black Ops 1 and try to play, you can't find wager matches. I mean, the multiplayer overall, on, at least on Xbox, is very dead. You can maybe find games around like peak times, but other than that, it's like basically impossible. Oh, they changed the music. Wait, a gun game on shipment? Dude's got, oh my, he's got 896,000 COD points. Or credits. I don't know exactly what they're calling it on here. I forgot. Dude, Shipment Gun Game will be amazing for reactions because it's so close quarters. Also, this version of Shipment is already looking really nice. I like it. This is probably the closest thing to COD 4 Shipment we've gotten, but graphically it looks better. Also, you already got humiliated. <laughs> for the most part, you start off with Attack Knife Pistol. I mean, this is two times in a row. Oh my. Yo, the setbacks. You know he's probably freaking out. But yeah, this version of Shipment looks really nice. I like the color scheme, like the color palette for the map so far. We got the Oni from Infinite Warfare, look at that. So it looks like it's pretty standard. You know, you got your pistols, maybe machine pistol, then shotgun, then SMG. From what I can tell so far, the weapon rotation is very similar to Black Ops 1, and it's just awesome. He keeps getting sent back though. <laughs> we'll see if they actually win this one. Oh, the M4? That looked like the M4 from COD Online. Holy shit. Shiva from Black Ops 3, I like it. This is exactly why everyone is so excited for SM2, because it just takes so many different elements from all these different Call of Duty games, puts it into one thing. I know it's really early to call it, especially because I haven't even played SM2, but this game definitely has the potential to be up there with how good Call of Duty Online was. I can already tell just from watching the gameplay, man. I mean, all of the attention to detail and care that's being put into this, it's fucking ridiculous. Look how awesome this is. Is that the M40 from Modern Warfare Remastered? It has a flash hider, look at that. That's sick. <laughs> He's getting the bullet. Come on. Pretty sure they're gonna win. Oh, the RPG with the little flip up takes so long though. Ooh, the fight. Oh, ballistic knife last? Oh shit. Oh, it's they're both on last. Oh my god, come on. Where is it? 
Oh, there it is. Nice. I really like the idea of the rotation not being the same every single time. It makes gun games so much more enjoyable. It seems like they've not only done random attachments, but you're not always going to get the exact same guns every single time too. It really works out well for a project like this where there's just so many different guns from different Call of Duty games. Now we got Dome Gun Game. All right, Dome's looking pretty good. We got the M1 Irons, no tack knife to start. So that's a first. I guess you won't always start with a tack knife. Wow, this really is like Ghost. Like you're not always gonna have a tack knife to be able to set people back right off the start. Oh, some weird lighting over there with that uh, little can. Procolot. 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 I hate this pistol. Oh, there you go. Is that advanced warfare music? I really can't tell. <laughs> we got the oomph. Oh, is this Modern Warfare 3 ump? But yeah, guys, definitely let me know what you think about the SM2 gun game gameplay so far. And let me know in the comments, are you more hyped for SM2 to come out or Modern Warfare 2 2022? You know, it's kind of tricky with SM2 because right now Call of Duty is kind of in that weird state. And if they drop this right now, I'm sure people would be all over it. But it is pretty clear that the game is still a work in progress. And I'm sure the team behind this wants to make sure that everything is perfect. That way they can have a smooth and stable launch. And that way everything is ready. That way they're not rushing it out. But obviously once that Modern Warfare 2 2022 trailer drops, everyone's going to be freaking out. You're going to have people pre-ordering the games so they can get access to the beta. I mean, we don't know when the beta is going to be, but we do have to keep in mind that that's going to work against SM2 a little bit because all of that attention is going to be taken away. And this just might be how I feel about it, but regardless of Modern Warfare 2 2022, I still can't wait to check this project out. Ooh, that intervention ACOG looks sick. Look at that ACOG scope. What the fuck? I like that. <laughs> Weapon underscore PTRS. Oh, he's going to send him back. Oh, yo, he was on last. Very sneaky move. What a shot. Yo, this person, you know this person's gonna win. AT4. Oh my goodness. Oh, that should have killed him. He was lagging. Oh, trying to like. I'm just watching this and I'm actually really invested. Like, I want Blue Ghost here to win. Get a cheeky tube kill. Come on. There you go. Ballistic knife. That's it. Oh, oh it's a 1v1 now. I'm pretty sure the other dude was going to like set people back with the ballistic knife. You already know. Oh my, he's freaking out. No! <laughs> Blind fire, you got it. There it is. Ooh! I like the calling card too. Legends never die and you got ghosts. Oh, he jumped into it. I thought he got someone behind. But yeah, that's the end of the SM2 gun game gameplay. Now, if we go back to their site, there's some stuff that has happened that I didn't share with you guys quite yet. If you've been to SM2.gg, which is their website, you would have probably seen this. And it's not like super new. But since I haven't talked about it yet and we're here reacting to SM2 gameplay, I might as well, you know, cover it finally. Got this moist looking intervention sitting here. You can kind of see previews of the maps. I think we've got, what, Hard Hat from Modern Warfare 3, obviously Shipment on the right. That looks like Getaway from Modern Warfare 3. Game's gonna have native controller support with aim assist as well. Obviously, they have the latest gameplay here but th i think this is what i missed the dev blog number two april update we're in june so yeah i'm pretty late to cover this i'll, I'll talk about it briefly i don't, I don't want to talk about it too much you guys might have seen this already on their website or you might have seen some other people talking about it but yeah this just makes me love the project even more because they're gonna have party game modes and wager matches this is in the wager match rotation we got all or nothing gun game one in the chamber sharpshooter sticks and stones one shot one kill knives only infected and right fires like that sounds incredible they themselves really like party game modes which you know i love as well i wish every single call of the game had like a dedicated party mode playlist and potentially even wager matches just right off the bat i'm really surprised that people don't fight for this more i mean everyone talks about how much they love black ops 1 and black ops 2 was like one of the best call of Duty games ever but then they don't even ask for party games like what what, what are you doing but yeah wager matches and party modes will actually be in a separate playlist it looks like and it's gonna have randomized game modes and different maps as well they're available in private matches and i'm sure you yep <laughs> it has friendly fun game mode options although you can't do wager matches in private match they also had some updates on the weapons and inspections and camos yeah they're showing off the inspects here for like the m320 and the fmg i think it's because these guns didn't originally have inspections so they actually had to animate these they had to give them their own inspections and i think for this section it's kind of like a technical thing but certain weapons are being replaced by other guns from different call of duty games the vector from ghost is being replaced with the one from modern warfare 2 campaign remastered they called it the sub d technology so it has like lower polygon models that was part of the whole like next gen ghosts graphics reveal when they first announced the game sub d Who got that? sub d sounds like it's making it difficult to get those weapons over to sm2 so they're just going to get replaced with other guns black ops 3 m16 is replaced with the one from modern warfare remastered i mean that's not a big deal send gets replaced with the trencher the dinjo gets replaced with the stinger from cod world war 2 <laughs> it's actually a lot of black ops 3 weapons too the man of war is getting replaced with the cod world war 2 as44 they're adding the world of war ptrs which is pretty dope and the oni from infinite warfare which i think we actually saw in the gun game gameplay oh look at this we got some camos we got a camo reveal i can't believe i didn't show you guys this they have to adapt all 
of the weapons images to use camos for different guns. I don't know if I forgot this, but I think SM2 is running off of the Modern Warfare 2 engine. It says, as far as it goes for gold, chrome, and animated camos, they work differently in a way that they won't bother explaining quite yet. They say that they want to have the widest diversity possible as far as it goes for camos. So we have the bow with tiger camo. Looks like this is on high rise. I mean, that actually looks pretty cool. I think that's what, tiger from Black Ops 1? And then they have an early work in progress gold camo. I mean, look at that. We have gold on the AUG, and this is instantly making me think of like Black Ops 1 gold, but it's a little bit more like, it looks a little bit more saturated, but there's some really good color depth here. I mean, it actually looks really good. I like where this is going so far. Grenades and equipment, heartbeat sensor is going to be in tack equipment, reworking flashes and stuns based off of where you're actually looking. So if you try to look away from a stun or a flash, it's not going to affect you as much, I'd imagine. They're adding the trophy system into the game, along with stim shot as well. Look at this. That's what the heartbeat sensor looks like. We got an example of the stim. I mean, that's pretty clean. Fast too. There's the trophy system, flashbang as well, based off of where you're looking. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like all of these changes. It's looking really promising. Some changes to the UI and the HUD. I mean, it looks really good. Not gonna talk about that too much. Oh, we got kill streaks too. Okay, so the war machine has been added. The AC-130 and Predator missiles have new interfaces and sounds. Pilotable helicopters. Wait, what? A drivable gunship is in the works. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, so the developers actually have to script everything from the ground up in order to make uh, like usable kill streaks possible. They say it's a very early prototyping phase, so I mean like we don't know exactly if that could make it into the game, but that would be sick. And yeah, I think that's basically it for the April update. The last post they had was on February 8th before that, and then DevBlog 1 was on October 5th. As far as I can tell, depending on how things are going with the team, they basically get these updates out every like two or three months. Obviously, we just got the SM2 gun game gameplay, but we could be getting another major update about the SM2 project maybe in another month or two but with that being said thank you guys very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed watching me show off the sm2 gun game gameplay and also talking about some of the latest updates with it if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to play sm2 right now make sure to drop a like i'll see you guys later